You know, Don, you're starting to work on me. I'm beginning to think that maybe this efficient energy effort is going to be a payoff. And I'm realizing a wall is more than a wall, and a roof has got some more potential than an average roof. You bet, Kim, and we're going to meet another proud homeowner of an energy efficient home. Hi. Hi, Hi Rylan. This is Kim. All right, Kim. Good hey, to Rylan. You. Good to be here. Welcome to our home. Thanks. And Rylan, show us the heart of the energy saving system in your home. Well, this is it. This is an ultra high efficiency hot water heater and it runs the domestic hot water heat and it runs the heat for the house, which consists of two loops. You have thermostats that run the downstairs radiant floor uh, heating loop. So you have potable PEX piping that goes every six inches in a big maze throughout underneath the floor. And so the water, once, um, once it goes through the floor, it comes back into the hot water heater back available to domestic use. The same for the upstairs, you've got um, hot water baseboard radiators that also run in a loop and come back to the domestic hot water use again. So basically you get no heat loss. Any hot heat that's generated by the hot water heater is used either for your domestic water or for the radiant heat of the house. Hidden under here are potable PEX pipes every six inches in a, in a grid work and it's on one loop that flushes through when, the, when it called for heat and then back into the hot water heater um, with preheating the water. You've got, it's a very central location which makes it so you have really fast response time both for the, for the, um, the floor heat but also for you know, my, my domestic use. I'm, I'm 10 feet away from my hot water and so it's really quite, you know, as opposed to having your hot water heater usually out in, in, in the garage or some far off place, this allows for kind of a central um, and more efficient use of, of space. In the summertime, we flip the valves and we send the cold water through the floor first. So anytime I'm using either the domestic water or I'm using water outside or the irrigation, it's sending cold water through the floor back into the hot water heater, which is preheating the hot water in the summer, but also sucking 10 to 15 degrees of heat out of the floor in the summer. So it's kind of like a free cooling effect just by virtue of using water that you'd be using anyway. And so that's been kind of a nice, a, a, a nice benefit. We've been able to basically live in this house without true AC, just by virtue of that. A cooled slab, deep eaves for the shade, and then Energy Star fans. Just moving the air and it's been, it's been good.